Hey, how you doing? Um, hope you have you had a wonderful week. And you know, we're in our deadlock series, which says that we are at a space where we can't move further or move past this. We've talked about being in a chokehold. We talked about not looking back and caused you to be in a deadlock. Today we're going to talk about feeling slighted. Feeling slighted. And it came to my spirit that a lot of us are, are not able to move forward because we feel slighted. And see, feeling slighted means that we felt humiliated, we we have felt disrespected, devalued, we felt that someone took something away from us unfairly. I'm feeling slighted, and because of that, you can't move forward. And God is saying, listen, you got to move past those feelings of being slighted. Um, I can only go to one time in my life. That I, you know, and I, I, I prayed about this whether I was going to share this. And I also talked to my daughter about this. So, um, before I did this, but I was, I grew up in a two parent home. Yeah. My dad and my mom were together. My dad was in a home and I wanted that for my daughter, but I didn't get that. And we have not seen her father since she was eight or nine, maybe nine years old. And we don't know if he's alive or dead. And his family doesn't know if he's alive or dead. No one knows. And, you know, I felt slighted. I was like, God, why? I, you know what I wanted for, for my life. But I had to get past the feelings of slight, right? Because the feelings of slight would have caused me to compromise her and compromise me. You know, I you know, people who feel slighted, especially if, let's say if it's a parent, situation, a two-parent situation, if one parent is upset with the other parent and they feel slighted, like they didn't get what they deserve or the parent is not doing what they're supposed to do, they use the children in that situation. So I feel slighted so you can't see your child. I feel slighted so I'm not going to even try to see my child because I feel slighted. I feel slighted because you're not paying child support. I feel slighted because you're not showing up. But the reality of it is, is that the child needs to love both parents unless there's some kind of, I'd say, physical or emotional abuse. When that's happening, that's different. But all while my daughter was growing up, I've never said a bad thing about her dad. I never took my feelings of slight and impose it on her because I knew she needed to move forward and so did I. And because of it, she's well-rounded, she's loved, and she knows that. When we feel slighted and we use the, the, the child as the um, pond, and you're talking about the parent and all the parents no good, they don't come around, the child grows up with that and the child is stuck. And when we become stuck, we don't love the way we're supposed to and we don't allow ourselves to be loved the way we're supposed to. I be, I took that feeling of slight and determined to, to, to um, cover my child in love. Even when people told me, you, what, you don't, no, I don't. The child will formulate their own opinion about their relationship or their feelings about the parent. Some of us have feelings of slight on jobs. You know, we work a job and we're mad and they didn't give me this and they didn't give me that. You got to move past your feelings of slight and you're going to stay stuck. You've been in the same situation. Because I, if you move past your feelings of slight, then you'll be able to, number one, probably find some job satisfaction where you are. Or you'll go on and look for something new. A lot of us stay stuck. We don't want to go into something new because we feel slighted, because we feel devalued, and, and we don't want to expand where we are. God is saying, move past your feelings of slight. The Lord just told me that. So a lot of people have, are struggling with feelings of slight. And I want to sum this up with this. You know, Jesus, if anybody had the right or the, the right to feel slighted is Christ. Christ was crucified or give it over for crucifixion by the people he came to save. And 
while we think Christ didn't have feelings, and people say, oh, yeah, Christ had feelings. Christ was in flesh. He had to feel slighted. I came to save these people and they were ready to kill me. <laughs> and if he had a, if he had not have moved past his feelings of slight, then he would have stopped and said, I'm not dying for these people. Then all of us would have been stuck. He would have been stuck. We would have been stuck. But he said, no, I got to move past my feelings of slight to what's next, to what's new. You got to move past your feelings of slight. You got to get past them. You got to forgive somebody. You got to let go of something. You got to, you know, you you, you got to quit thinking about, can I tell you, slight can play over in our minds. Feelings of slight can play over and over in our minds all day, all day, all night. And then it takes us into some kind of emotional uh, spiral downward, and we're stuck. Let it go. I'm pretty sure you may have been slighted, but you won't be the first and you won't be the last, and it won't be the first, and it won't be the last. But I'm here to tell you, God is saying, moves past your fear to feelings of slight. Because Jesus said, forgive them for they know not what they do. They don't understand there's a bigger purpose here. There's a Bigger opportunity here. So I'm going to move past my feelings of slight on to the big, to the next. Listen, I, God just keeps telling me we got to come out of these deadlocks because God is trying to move you on to the next, to the new, to the new beginning, to the new opportunity, to a new understanding, to a new relationship, to a new love, to a new love of yourself and to a new love of others. I just came to tell you today, a lot of you are feeling slighted. You're feeling slighted by your children or you're feeling slighted by your parents, your friends. Maybe you even feel excited about your church. Move past it. Move past it. Ask God to change your heart. Renewing you a clean heart and, you know, and, and a right spirit. So you can move on. Because God's got a next for you. I don't know who I'm talking to. But no, I'm talking to everybody. Anybody who can receive the promise of new life that Christ offers you. It's there for you. But you got to let go of your slight because your slight won't let you move into the new. Whether it's because you don't value yourself or you feel others don't value you or you're angry and you can't move past it. I'm not telling you it's easy, but I'm telling you it's doable. Much love, Keita.